Uh, hi, I'm Paul McDonald. I work in the uh, zoology discipline at the School of Environmental and Rural Sciences here at uh, University of New England. Uh, I'm a behavioural ecologist, which means I'm interested in why animals behave the way that they do, um, what benefits they get from it, what costs they incur uh, during those behaviours, and really just trying to understand why animals uh, act the way they do and, uh, and uh, what benefits they get from that. At the moment, most of our work is, is working on birds, so birds are really a useful model to work on because they're, they're quite easy to get at and work with. There's lots of interesting things happening uh, in sociality and that's really where we're going in the lab and what we're interested in. But it's hard to work on social animals like uh, people or chimps or dolphins, they're really tough to, uh, to get a grip on. What we're finding is that a lot of bird societies have very similar levels of complexity, so there's uh, lots of cooperation going on, so the animals are working together to uh, mob a predator, say, or, or find a food resource. But there's also lots of conflict in there, so sometimes you have family members working together um, or choosing not to help some of the others out. So one bird might uh, uh, send out an alarm call, a little bit like a cry for help, for example, uh, and other birds in the colony don't respond. So birds are a really good system to test lots of these ideas about why animals might be social and, and what sort of benefits they get from that. And that's really what Lucy's starting to, to uncover because the, the key to unlocking that social behaviour, I think, is really uh, getting a grip on the, the vocal communication side of things. Because if we can understand how that cooperation is being coordinated and facilitated by those vocalisations or, or bird calls, if you like, uh, we can get a better grip on what the animals are doing and really start to understand it. Uh, the other benefit is, of course, we can record them and play those vocalisations back to the animals. Uh, and see how they respond. So we can really get at both uh, an observational setup where we're seeing what the animals are doing, but also an experimental one where we can see how they respond. So it's the best of both worlds. So I teach into the uh, Bachelor of Zoology and, and Bachelor of Science with a, a zoology major primarily. Uh, UNE is a great place to, uh, to do that sort of study. Uh, perfect location in terms of up here on the tablelands. Within a two hour drive, you can be uh, in rainforest on the coast, uh, out in almost desert-like conditions, or some really interesting uh, agricultural and rural land uh, up here on the tablelands as well. So in terms of access to types of environments, it's great. That lets us really diversify our teaching so you can go to all those different environments. And we even run uh, field courses annually where you can actually go overseas to places like Bhutan or Botswana uh, to get a grip for international uh, wildlife and what's happening uh, in zoology abroad. So it's a really good place to study. Uh, lots of great research happening and we tie that into our teaching, which is wonderful. And using those degrees, whether you want to go on and uh, stay in research or academia or pursue other pathways such as consultancies and so on, uh, it gives you a good background and a good founding to uh, tackle all those different uh, professions and, and get a start.